My interview with Noy was split into two videos. In this video, we discuss the entire history of Asin in order to help me construct a documentary about the band. Another video includes general questions and information about Noy's life and thoughts after his experience with Asin. Links to the documentary and the rest of the interview can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching and enjoy. So, what was your musical upbringing like? Did your parents play music? And what kind of music were you surrounded by when you were little? Uh, maybe uh, this influence in music in me is, uh, uh, it came really from the church because I, I, was, I was brought up in a church, Catholic. church like a church environment because no, we are Protestants. Oh, okay. So the, we have like in the, in the church we have choirs, mm -hmm. you know, in the Protestant there is really a good choir. You know, mm -hmm. Everybody is there, and then at this time, uh, uh, when I was young, like ten years old, you know, then you cannot go out of the house easily, you know, because you have to be there to run errands, to, you know, to do the chores, you know, everything like this. But if you say I'm going to the church, this is what okay. <laughs> You're allowed to do that. <laughs> so, so this is the main thing that every 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 time I have to go to the church. Uh -huh. that makes <laughs> but, sense. but you really have to go to the church, you know. But then it's more enjoyable than in the church and being in the house and get the you know. So that's how I went inside the choir like this. So mm -hmm. at young age I was already trained to sing. I, I sang in the bass, so I was baritone at this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so when did you start playing an instrument? And was it guitar your oh, first wow. instrument? Yeah, this is already very old because I was already something like 22. Oh, yeah. I played guitar, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this happened because uh, the first, the first, I know I was, I was also involved in the, like, uh, uh, this uh, progressive movements. And you go to the church streets and it's, it's, you know, <laughs> shout mm -hmm. freedom, freedom. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. It's good. <laughs> and this. So I was involved in this. Then it became very deep. I, I became very deep in this. I went to the mountains to fight like this, you know. Really? This, uh, this, this deep, you know. Interesting. And, and then uh, something happened there that I don't like anymore, what is the, what's going on, so I went out like this. And then uh, I, I went back to the city, but I have nothing to do. And uh, I cannot just roam around because I, I, my name is already on the list, mm -hmm. you know. So I have to get out of the province, go to Manila, like this, start new life. So I... I in a way, I'm still, you know, I'm still on the underground, but you're also above the ground, half half. You mm -hmm. know? <laughs> right. So I cannot really expose myself because I, I'm still on the underground. You know? and I'm still afraid, like this. So, okay, I have, like I said, okay, I have to, I have to make a legal identity for myself. You know? So I went to school, back mm -hmm. to school, back to school. Uh, so that if I ever, if ever I get uh, caught and then they're asking me, so where were you at this time? What? Well, go to school. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's the game. But uh, I'm, I'm not going into school anymore. Actually, I hate it. You know, I spent <laughs> nine years already in high school. <laughs> nine years. Nine years. <laughs> high school. Uh -huh. uh, I said, oh, it is this. So I. When I go to, I, I said I go to school, but to my sister, because I was living in my sister's house at the, in Manila. So I would go to school as if, but I would go to the folk house. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this how I, uh, then I met a friend in there, but I also was my, uh, my friend here. Also he went to Manila to study, and then he was good in guitar. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, wow. Let's sing together now. So I, I was just, just singing with him. Uh -huh. He is the one playing guitar. I was singing. Okay, it's it went good, but in the end, like after one year that we were together, he decided to split uh -huh. from me because you know, because some groups want him to want, wanted to take him. Uh -huh. Yeah. But the the bad thing there is that he went without telling me. 
that he's going. So I was Step. left alone. No, uh -huh. oh, I said, oh, what can I do? No? Right. <laughs> so I decided I will play guitar. Uh -huh. uh, from then on, I play guitar like this until 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm looking, listening to record. Uh -huh. But it's already easy for me to follow because, because we were already playing the songs uh -huh. together. No? So it's already in my ears. Mm -hmm. You know, all the songs, all the chords, the, you know, all what I hear in the guitar, I hear. And was it also like Simon and Garfunkel songs? or? No, before. Oh, uh, yeah. Some like this and some Peter, Paul, and Mary because we come from the church, both of us. Uh -huh. We come from the same church. So it's like this. That's how I studied guitar. And then when did you meet uh, Sorrow? Is it 1976? Yeah, yeah. Or so I was, I was schooling in Manila in one area there. Mm -hmm. That when you go out, there is a folk house. Uh -huh. So Saro was was schooling in another uh, school, which is when you go out, you also land on this the same folk house. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> so we met there, but Saro also speaks Ilongo mm -hmm. because uh, he is from Cotabato, but his uh, parents came from here. Uh -huh. I so see. they speak Ilongo also. So it was easy for us to become friends. Mm -hmm. you know? so he was drinking, and I'm playing with the, with my friend like this. But in the end, when my friend went, then it's only me. Then I have to struggle hard to know the, to how to play. Sometimes I will jump, but really, you know, boom, 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 many butterflies in the storm. Uh -huh. <laughs> so is that why you started talking to him in the first place? Because you we both spoke friends. in Ongo? Yeah, we became friends. And then you, you both talked about wanting to play folk music. Yeah, in, in a time, because when Saro gets drunk, he also plays music. <laughs> <laughs> He's also playing like this. So we said, oh, so if you, if you, whenever you are playing, so let's play together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, then from then on, we, 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 we went together. We get a house to rent, and then a uh, room to rent. And then from then on, we were playing together. And you guys became best friends. Probably. Yeah, we were. Uh, this this process already we already very very good friends like uh -huh. this. And uh, okay, we were playing in. Uh, it was funny because uh, at this time, we the first time we played was uh, uh, we we started uh, rehearsing songs that we know both of us. Mm -hmm. So it's like songs America, of course mm -hmm. we know uh, we mm -hmm. know this kind of. Uh, Okay, we have 11 songs for the start. Okay. Let's play to the rock as we have already 11 songs. Okay. <laughs> Mike can say start. <laughs> yeah, so we play in the folk house. Not really folk house because there are girls, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can take with girls and then, okay. But uh, it's okay, they're paying. Uh, so we, we get like, something like 50 pesos a uh -huh. night. Two of us, so we have to divide it. It's become 25 and 25. Really? Interesting. At this time, the folk singers are being paid 300 already. And we're getting 50. So, okay. No, very good. <laughs> For the establishments, very good. Better than nothing. Only 11 songs. Uh -huh. After 11 songs, come back to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do it two or three times. Anyway, they're already tipsy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's okay. We can hear the same song three times. <laughs> so we play 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Same. 11 songs. <laughs> okay. This so, is the struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, there was a time even that because it cannot really make us eat this uh, 25 pesos for one week. Mm -hmm. Wow, what can you do with this? Right. So we have to play on sometimes we, we have alternate uh, alternate uh, performers or the the go go dancers, you know, this uh, mm. bikini dancing mm -hmm. girls. We can, and, and then after them, we will sing folk song. Wow, this, this, it's not so. It does not go together really, <laughs> but you know the the like the manager he likes folk songs, so uh -huh. it's okay. Sing, you know. Right. It's a good thing that they are, we are they are not uh, they are not uh, pushing us to to wear bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you were drunk enough. <laughs> so when did you meet Pendong? Did you meet him around that time? At this time, when we, we were already three. Me, Lolita, so, you, so you met Lolita 
first before Pendong. Yeah, because uh, one time when we were singing in one pub house, uh-huh. we were already maybe more than a year already, me and Saro, as a duet. Then we were already looking for uh, the third voice because me, I'm baritone and very low, and Saro is very high. Uh-huh. You know, he's, uh, he's tenor. Uh-huh. You know? So there is a missing middle voice that we are trying to find. Mm-hmm. So among our friends that uh, who are also singing in the folk house, we are already choosing. Yeah? We try. It's one. Uh, we'll try one, and then no, it does not really go together. So then another one. Then along this process, while we were singing in the folk house, one time we were singing in this pub house. Then uh, Lolit came in, and uh, wow. And Lolly it's saying, wow, man, you, you, everybody is like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's really good, you know. Uh-huh. Just, uh, the voice is really very, you know. <clears throat> and uh, so, uh, this is really something when I remember this, uh, it's really in my, my head what's going on, you know. That uh, she's singing and we're... Because she's singing also, you know, Janis Joplin, like uh-huh. this, you know. Yeah, I bet she can do a good Janis yeah. Joplin. Yeah, because she's got a little bit of a oh, rasp oh, to her. Oh, yeah. you know I mean? yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's great. So did did Sorrow and her start dating before? Yeah, because... Uh, like they were dating before she joined the band? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, this, is, this is the time that uh, we were meeting and then... Uh, so uh, Saro is uh, good looking because he is, uh, you know, and uh, tall and good looking. Lolit, she likes this. <laughs> what, what she, you're not what, good looking? What, what she likes, is that what you say? What she likes, she gets. You know, yeah. this is Lolit, you know. What she likes, she gets. So, uh, Chuck gets Saro. Uh, then they were dating, and then so we were together. After a time, we are already getting together always, all the time, always mm-hmm. together like this. And so, I said to Saro, if in a way Loli is with us always, why don't we try her, you know? Uh-huh. So we tried her and, wow, see, it really, really like a basketball, you know, that <laughs> swak. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. This is it. So we started playing together. Uh-huh. We started... Uh, Practicing Peter Paul and Mary, mostly Peter Paul and Mary because this is the. You do like 500 miles? 500 miles for the first time. I did rock and roll music. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff. You know. um, and so she already had one baby or? Yeah, she has already one child at this time. Mm-hmm. And. Um, did that make it harder to schedule sometimes? No, she, because... Or did, did the baby live did with I, the father? Yeah, she puts it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about <laughs> Good. Does not exist. <laughs> okay, go on my way. Like. And you and Saro, you both played uh, acoustic steel string or did you yes. play nylon strings ever? Before we were all playing actually nylon strings. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, all of us, because we were poor. We cannot mm-hmm. buy guitars like this. Only borrow. I borrow from my cousin. Saro will borrow from his friend. Like this. This uh-huh. is what we we started on. On classical or Spanish guitars. Yeah, yeah. On, uh, nylon guitars, also locally buy, made like this. Made in Cebu. Uh-huh. Okay, but it's okay. Then we started on this. So how long were Lolita and Saro together before you joined? She joined the band. Maybe just one oh, month no, or something? Or? Not, not really one month, but uh, a few months. Uh-huh. And then uh, we decided that we will uh, absorb her. And then we we started playing together. And uh, after a while, then uh, we, we, we planned that, uh, okay, from now on when we get a, when we get a gig, it, we see to it that uh, Loli is our alternate singer. So she will sing. She will sing solo, and we will sing duet, and uh, we will sing three. Mm-hmm. Like this, this is like to introduce the group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is how we started. We introduce a group. Yeah. 
And so when did you come up with the name Salt of the Earth? And it's inspired by the Rolling Stones song, but was it more inspired by the Joan Baez version? No, was no, that actually, more available? This, this Salt of the Earth is already in my head because I was from the church. No? Uh -huh. Then the, it's already said, being said in the, in the, in the pulpit. No? Kind of like Todok, right? Yeah. Like, is, like Salt of the Earth, yeah. Todok. Same kind of concept a little bit, yeah? Yeah. Then I, I, I suggested this, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, because we have no name, no? First it was Mike and Cesar, so what now? Mike, Cesar, Lolly, like this, it, it sounds, you know, so nice. So, I said, okay, we, may, we will name our group Salt of the Earth, like this, because... And then, um, Salt of the Earth from uh, John Biles. Uh-huh, you know? right. Because there is also, uh, we used to drink a lot, drugs also so there is also a line there that let's drink to the hard-working people mm -hmm. let's drink to the salt of the earth uh -huh. uh, it really fits us you know? uh -huh. <laughs> wow well, you see there is also the drink uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> cheers <laughs> so let's let's name our group salt of the earth uh -huh. Uh, and when did you, as soon after that, maybe you did your nicknames and Nena or Nene? How you, her, she is yeah, Nene. because uh, when we, we, went, we, went, we went inside the recording, then uh, um, of course we cannot bring the name already Salt of the Earth because we are already singing in Filipino, no? Mm -hmm. So what now? Oh, yeah. We make it in Tagalog, the Salt of the Earth become Asin ng Lupa. Uh -huh. yeah, was that your idea or the record company? No, it's uh, it's still in our ideas, okay. you know, that it's it's a sin ng lupa. But then one of the producers in the com company said that, uh, uh, ah, it's too long, so why don't you just name it uh, shortcut, put it a sin, uh -huh. but it has still the same content as salt of the earth like this. Right. So it's not a bad bad idea, no. So it's like it's like Coca Cola. And coke, coke. And <laughs> so, so it's a short uh, uh -huh. It's very easy to understand. Because in your head, the yeah, band yeah, is still salt of the earth. Also, a sin, <laughs> a sin is a very basic commodity. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's very easy to really put it in the head of people. But then you became Nanoi and Cesar became Sorrow. When did you do that? Yeah, uh, we we did this in the third album. Oh, yeah. really? It wasn't yeah, until yeah. the third album. The third oh, I album see. We did this. Okay. Because if in a way we are already like this, so let's uh, make a local name for ourselves. So Cesar becomes a role. Lolit is already Nene at that time. This is these are all uh, nicknames, you know. Mm -hmm. Also Noi is a uh, nickname. And so, but you're Nonoi or Noi or both? You just shorten Nonoi to Noi. No, 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 Noi. Uh, first, I become I am Miguel. No. Mm -hmm. There is a there is a transition in these names that I have. Then I become Mike. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I become Nonoi. Uh -huh. Like this. In the end, I become only Noi. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this really become comfortable for me because people will uh, call me like uh, people from my from my primary grades. They will call me Miguel because this is how they know it. No? Mm -hmm. This is how you are in the school when you are small. That uh, you are called by your name. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm Miguel. So if at this time you call me Miguel, I know where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> I uh -huh. know where, where, okay. I, where I knew you, you know. Uh -huh. If you knew, you call me Mike, then I know that it's from the high school, this one. <laughs> you know? so, That's pretty funny. <laughs> so I can categorize the people and I, I can remember, you know, that, ah, okay, okay, I know you from this time. Uh -huh. It's more easy. <laughs> so your friend Larry that I met last night, he yeah. calls you Mike. He oh, did not yeah. know you, Miguel. Yeah, because we are from the same school in the high school. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's it become like this. What they used to, then they, that's the name they call it. Um, so when did you, or how did you meet Tony Ocampo? He is the guy from Vicor. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is so he, he is the first person you met from yes, the record? Yes. He is like the, uh, the talent scout that uh, really discovered us. Okay. Because Tony, uh, one time we were playing in one of the in a big, uh, it's not a big, uh, big name, folk house, that all the rockers are there, you know, 
rock. Really hard rock is there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are, we are also good. So even we are in the folk rock, we still go inside this uh, establishment. Mm -hmm. So one time when we were playing, then they call, he called us. And then we sat there. And then this is a proposal that, uh, okay, if you are interested, I am from the recording company. You want to run? Uh, this, this is how it started. And then this is the time that we started going to the company talking with him like this so that's how we met to tony mm -hmm. we didn't know that he was the like a big executive there we thought he's just a small guy that is uh-huh uh, just looking somebody for in talents, the audience you know? uh -huh. mm. and he's a cool guy were you friends did you like him uh, as a person tony is a likable person because he's very soft and he's very soft-spoken and but of course, you go with the uh, interest of the company, you know, like this. so that's where you divide the uh, the the men from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did you get the name Nonoy? Why did you Why did you choose Nonoy to be your name? No, it's not me who choose this. It's a uh, it's a nickname in mm -hmm. the house. You are called by this name, no, 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 all the time. You are not called by Miguel or you know by your name. Well, why was it no, no? I don't know because no, no is also everybody here is no, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's a common name. Like if you are in the Visayas, then it's uh, it's Dong, Dodong, like this. Then everybody is Dodong also, uh -huh. you know. Like in here in this area, then everybody is also no no like this. Uh -huh. Like in Manila, all the girls there are Nene. You know, okay. like this. It's only Saro who became Saro because Cesar, no? Uh -huh. Then Cesar, then you put another O in the end of Sa Sar, then become Saro. Okay. It's more easy to... And then what about Pendong? Pendong is also the same. The same kind of just, if you're yeah, in this area, Pendong you're Pendong. Area. <laughs> <laughs> I, see. Yeah. I think he got this name because he, uh, the father was also called Pendong. Uh -huh. Because we are all juniors, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I am junior. When you say junior, that means that your name is the same as your father, no? Mm -hmm. Like this. So we are all junior. But Lolita wasn't. Nah, but she, she wants to be. Yeah, so <laughs> she, she pretends. She, she said, oh, 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 everybody's junior, so I want to be I junior. Want to be junior. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> so I put also junior. Lolita <laughs> Carbon Junior. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, did you ever think writing songs about taking care of the environment and hoping people are better, did you ever think that message would actually get out there and that people would act on it? And do you think people did act on it? Do you think? The Philippines as a whole kind of was a little bit better, a little bit smarter after hearing positive messages from their local music? I guess in, in a way it also influenced, but it's not really, it was not really absorbed uh -huh. in the inside, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, they like it, the music, I like it, the, the message, they like it, but uh, you know, it does not, it does not sink to the yeah. soul, you know? Right. So it's really, it's just uh, another song. Yeah. Because yeah. unfortunately, people litter here so much. It's just garbage. Oh, yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. always throws their garbage. It's crazy to yeah, me. Yeah. So many yeah, yeah. people just throwing their garbage. It's just, uh, it's really in the awareness. You know, that the, but awareness, it comes from education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything comes from education. So it's really very poor education. Yeah, that uh, what people get is really shit from the government like this that they don't really put much effort on the education of the people mm -hmm. yeah, because you know they benefit from that uh, stupidity right yeah when you, gotcha. people are stupid then you get rich and yeah you can control them <laughs> and profit <laughs> off of them yeah definitely so they will not uh, encourage this and so i read on your website <laughs> that uh the Save the Earth or the Save the Environment song is inspired when Saro went to take a bath. Yeah. And the water one. was gross. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is really, this is really true because everywhere it's happening that when you open the faucet, then sometimes it's really brown. Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's really, sometimes it's already mud, you know, that uh -huh. is coming out of the faucet. 
And has it gotten better? Or not really? Not really. Yeah, that's too bad. Even here in Bacolod, we, before we used to have a very good water here because we have a very good uh, source of the water uh -huh. from here. That uh, There is really a spring there that is really coming out uh, bigger than this. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the water coming out of the ground. You know, that's where our water is coming from the whole Bacolod. You know, mm -hmm. suddenly Coca Cola plant, they put a plant here, so they get the water first. What you get is already what they throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we are already. Oh, uh, this is uh, the actually it's the corporations now that is really. Destroying the earth. Yeah, like this. totally. Yeah. Before it's like uh, the ones who are ruling is the church, you know? Mm -hmm. Then the politicians came. Then the corporations came, you know? First it was the church, but the church is being ruled by the politicians. And the politicians, they become the boss. And now it's the corporations that became the boss. The politicians are just uh, following the, the corporations. Mm -hmm. You know? What? This is very obvious, no? But, you know, we cannot get it. Yeah, because bad. they're very, very much hidden from the, uh, from the main uh, stage. How do you think your second album is different from the first album? more more experience backing you and stuff and do you, was it a much different no, experience or kind of the same it's it's kind of the same because it's just a continuation of the uh -huh. first album like right yeah, like, that's how it sounds to me yeah like because you already did it and then you are also doing all the time so when they said oh no we make second album like this first we you don't even like to make second album because we already got fucked in the first album, uh -huh. you know? Right. We already are, no, I don't like anymore, you know? Uh -huh. like, You're not paying us. Yeah, Everybody in the country is listening to us, and we didn't make any money. No, it's only peanuts you get. Yeah. So, but you have to do it because you signed a contract like this. So, you cannot do anything. You just have to follow. So, it's even that on the second album, there is this song kahapon at pag-ibig wherein it's really hard uh, there you need drums there you need uh, you know all this no drums no bass no, like this it went out like this because you're already you know you do it half hard and then so no and so and then the band breaks up breaks up and why did you break up is it because Lolita and Sorrow broke or because the contract this you were is, stuck in this is taboo this uh, that Lolita and Sorrow broke this we did not talk about it mm -hmm. but I think this is the main uh, thing that happened there that they break up so we break up mm -hmm. naturally because they cannot go anymore together and they, I don't know when we, when they are meeting or it's, or it's something is bubbling and then so and did that upset you at the time? That your band broke up because they broke up? Or were you happy to get out of it for no, a No, 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 it's, uh, it's something like... Uh, it happened naturally, you know, because nobody ever said goodbye, actually. Uh -huh. no? Yeah, <laughs> right. It just, just happened. It just happened. Like this, no? <laughs> Saro yeah. went back, me went to Kolo, did this, uh -huh. did uh, remain where she is, like this. And so what did you do during that three or four years? I went to school. Uh -huh. <laughs> I go to, uh, I, I go, I enroll in engineering, I become engineering like this. So two years I was studying engineering like this. I was working in one uh, office here in Bacolod. And then that's how I, Is that I, when you went to STI West? Or? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. That's where my Airbnb but, is. But that's already, <laughs> that's already in, in, in the college. Uh -huh. I was already in the college. Yeah. And then during that time, Lolita did some reggae music, and yes. she did Lolita and the Boys, and no, she and she Sul was with Sulabama. Sulabama, yeah. So she she in, interacted with the two guys, mm -hmm. one from uh, both from uh, Mindanao, and then they were playing uh, reggae music like this. 
And that was like the first reggae band in the Philippines. I don't know. I I, I was not in touch at this time. Mm-hmm. But maybe yes, because this time it was not yet. You know. But they were not really reggae. They were uh, as if no, mm-hmm. like this. Uh, because Popong, one of them, it he he also became the uh, the partner of Lita like this at this time. Mm-hmm. So Popong was playing like uh, Sting like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you like the police? I like them. I like all the music that is yeah. coming out at this time. And did, so did you hear, uh, was it Sul- Sulabama? Did you hear them or did they make a recording? No, they did not make yeah. a recording, I think. And uh, I did not hear them really as a group. Uh-huh. You know. Only the later part, when we were again together, then I heard that uh, Lulit, he became Sula, Sulabama. But I know these uh, guys who were with them, with, with her. So, how did you feel in 1983, or was it maybe the end of 1982 when they asked you to regroup? And who to- who talked to you? Who said, "Let's get our scene back together"? Yeah, there is there is a group here in uh, Cebu that is in in the school. They call themselves ISEC. Okay. They like it is an international organization in economics. Okay. So, in one of their programs, when you graduate in ISEC because you are an economic student, so they have to make something that will earn money, like this. Because mm-hmm. they, are, yeah, they are from economics, no? Uh-huh. Like business. So they thought about it, that oh, well, this is the money that we, earn, we, we can put up with, you know, to put a scene together, make concert, we make money, uh-huh. like this. So they, because I'm, I'm very near Cebu, no? so they contacted me, uh, then okay, I heard about this, and then we talk in the phone, and then they say okay, we will spend all the uh, all your expenses going to find a group like this, and we regroup it like this. I said okay, I'm already getting bored here in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already, uh-huh. I'm already three years here. I'm doing nothing, so why not? Uh, and, and they were gonna pay you. Yeah, yeah, of course, no. Then uh, they give me. They went to Cebu, and then I talked to them. They said, "Okay, we spend, we spend all the expenses, and then you go, you look for them." So I went to Mindanao like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I was thinking was Saro because Saro is from Mindanao, so I go to. I went, I'm going to meet Saro there. So I went to Mindanao. When I crossed Mindanao, it was all run trip, you know. It's no uh, planes. I go there, and then. When I, I arrived in in uh, Davao, like this, then I have to connect with friends because somebody has to guide me to, you know, I don't know the place. Uh-huh. So one guy, he guided me from here to Cebu, and then he, he guided me up to Mindanao, and then he guided me up to Davao, and then he said, okay, then in Dago, I have another friend that I am to ask. He will guide me to Cotabato. So, like this. okay, this is the, the plan. But when uh, I arrived in Cotabato, I arrived in Davao, I met this friend of mine. Then, okay, he will be the one to guide me to. Then he told me that, you know, Lolita is here. Lolita, he got married there. Another guy, like this. This is Lolita, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a new guy every year. Yeah. So, oh wow. So, but, you know, Lolita, he, she's not very hard to find if she's around, you know. Uh-huh. You just have to ask the right people and then they know where she is. So, they guide me also to find Lolita. I find Lolita, I talk to her, you know. Let's regroup. Let's. Uh, there is a group here that is uh, interested to make a concert for us in Cebu, like this, like a small talk. Okay, let's do it like this. Drink. Uh-huh. <laughs> Happy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I told her. Okay, you, you stay put. I will go to Saro. I will talk to Saro. When I arrive there in Saro, he knows already okay. <laughs> that uh-huh. it's going to be like, so I just smoke. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hang out. <laughs> Finish. Cool. <laughs> okay, we met at this time, at this year, and I, okay, then it happened. We met in Cebu, we practice, we make a concert. How do you think those two felt seeing each other again? Did Saro have a new girlfriend too? 
No, but uh, as if nothing happened. Yeah. Know? This is They're how our, our yeah, group is. Fine. Yeah. This is how our group is. Like uh, we never talk about anything, uh, you know, personal. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we were not used to doing this. Also, I I think this is a general thing here in the Philippines that people don't talk about the feelings. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think it's kind of normal in America too. They don't talk about the feelings, and they don't talk, uh, you know. Okay, let bygones be bygones like this. <laughs> it's something like this, you know. Well, that's but good. For that me, they can be friends. For me, no, it's not. For me, it's better to talk. Yeah, yeah. If if we are uh, like we are a group, we are friends. So why not? Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. all about honesty. You like, know? like 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 uh, like for me, I I'm I'm not in, I'm not uh, involved in your uh, relationship, but maybe I can learn from it. No, if right. you talk together, mm-hmm. then maybe I can learn from it. A hundred percent. So this is the the way it should be. Mm-hmm. I agree. But never happened. So, as if nothing happened, everybody's still smiling, okay, let's play <laughs> the music, okay. So then you decided to stay together and do another album? This time, yeah, because um, we were able to also to get a, to get a manager at this time. Uh-huh. So, uh, because when we reunited, this company, Vico, wow, they sent people right away. You are called the biker, you will do this, you will do that, you know. No. <laughs> but uh, us, we're always, you know, we're always uh, high there. So uh-huh. I said, oh, this is this, we cannot, uh, we cannot handle this, we don't know how to talk with these people. You uh-huh. know? <laughs> so find a manager. I got a manager, I got uh, my, my brother at this time, he was, he was coming from Australia with his wife. And uh, they were planning to stay in the Philippines and, uh, you know, my, his wife is a social worker, so she is working in the church also. So, I said, so why not get my brother? He's, uh, he's a good man. Uh-huh. That's how I understand him, no? He's a good man, so let's get him. So I told the group, and I have a brother who is here now, he's from Australia, and uh, if we are interested, we make him a manager, and then he will be the one to talk to this uh, asshole here. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so, so we are out of it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Beautiful. That's how I would have done it too. <laughs> that's smart. So that's uh, that's what happened, and then from then on we were rolling because we have already somebody who is taking care of everything. Then we are already very popular at this time, so many offers are coming in. And, oh, mostly, most of the time we were in Mindanao mm-hmm. because that's where really was the you know where a scene was really very hot. Okay. So we were there. We stayed in Mindanao. Well, we had something like you know, four concerts a month, five concerts, six concerts. Like, we are doing like this, you. Know? I don't even know where we are. <laughs> All I know are the entrance of the hotel, <laughs> the bathroom of the hotel. <laughs> Good times. Um, so then you sign with Vicor again, or no, no, a different company not. this time. No more, no more. Uh-huh. At this time, ops, no more. So, but uh, we were cooking the third album. Because we finished the first and the second, and then we we're cooking the third album at this time. So when we are when we are performing, we are already performing the songs for the third album. Like okay. it was already you know, being cleaned along the way. Mm-hmm. Yes. And there's more more variety on that third album, yes. and some more heavy rocking pieces yes. and yes, yes. and everything. Yes, how, because how do you it's feel about more. That? It's more. You know, you are already the the you there. You know. Uh, in the third album, it was already, you know, this third album, it went out, third week, it became gold record. Oh, really? Oh! Wow. Because that's how the people really are very th- hungry of a scene at this time. Uh-huh. You know, because it's like three years, four years that uh, there was nothing, mm-hmm. but only the songs are coming out and it's very, very, you know, it's shaking also the, it's shaking the, um, the you know, the mind. Because it's also martial law. Because it's what? Martial law. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, 
this is where the people gets the hope, you know, mm -hmm. from the songs. Right. A beautiful thing. Yeah. So, wow. It's really like this. So the third album came out, so third week, become good. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, a similar thing is mostly session players, like the, the record company put the band together. And no, no, it's already us. Oh, yeah. There is no more recording company here. They're not involved anymore. It's only us who are involved in this. And we are also the ones who are uh, connecting to people to play for us like this. We're the ones getting the back so You organized it all. Yes. But yeah, you have a lot of different players on yes. that album. Yeah. So and then you won Album of the Year for that one too. It got gold and it won awards. How do you oh, yeah. feel winning awards? Did you have to go to a ceremony or anything too? Did you go and collect an award or they just told you, they called you on the phone, hey, you won an award? I don't know. We, we get it from the company actually. Uh -huh. uh, the ones who are really interested in this is Pendung, Loli. They're interested in getting these awards, you know, this, uh, you know. I don't know me, I, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm more... <laughs> <laughs> You're just having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You're just living life. I, I love that. Yeah, I don't like this, uh, you know, that you have to face some people. I don't like these people anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I don't mind this. But then they are... Uh, Sometimes Mendong will get angry because he was not invited by Loli to come to this. Mm -hmm. This is what I hear, you know, but uh, yeah. I said no. So, and then 1984, you do another album, but it's covers. You do traditional songs. Yeah, because uh, this was the idea of the company also. Okay. That uh, they wanted us to, like, collect songs. They were, they are going to like collect and then they were going to let us sing it, no? Mm -hmm. So I said, no, maybe we will be the one to collect the songs. Mm -hmm. the songs if anyway we, we are doing do. it, yeah. if, if anyway it's us who are doing it, so we will be the one to collect songs. So I said, let's uh, divide the whole Philippines in regions uh -huh. and uh, let's take songs from this region and this, from this region and this region, you know? Uh -huh. I like so that. So we get all. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's how we did it. So we have Ilocano songs, we have Tagalog songs, we have Visayan songs, we have Ilongo songs, like uh -huh. this, you know, all together. I like that. Yeah, so it was really a hit also. Uh -huh. uh, people like it. And also it was, it was done like a scene. You can really know the, the, the stamp of a scene there. Mm -hmm. Right, it definitely sounds like a yeah. scene. Yeah. So, and then you split up again after that in late 85 or maybe early 86. The band I, broke I up. Think, I think it is in 86 that we broke up. Around the time of the revolution. Yeah, because this is a revolution. And then also something happened there that uh, Marcos, at this time there was uh, an election. Mm -hmm. Because it was already very obvious that there is no election, there is nothing. No. So people are asking, ah, let's make election, election, and then like this. So Marcos make election, okay, no problem. I make election. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, it's him also going to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he knows it, no? Like this. But they have to show it to the people, they have to make a show that uh, there is really an election, there is really, a, you know, a campaign, that they are campaigning, like this. So Marcos, he get us to campaign. Really? For him. Really? Yeah, because he knows Azin. When you say Azin, it's a crowd gatherer, no? Uh -huh. Yeah, like this. So, did you do that? Did you no, perform? No, yeah. of course not. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, this is already putting colors on us, you know? Uh -huh. uh, we, will be, we will be colored by the people and right. then no more. Yeah. Azin will be no more. As far as I'm aware, when everybody gathered, for the revolution, they were probably singing a scene song. Yeah, so this one. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I said, no, I, I am not for this. Uh -huh. Although I see Loli, he likes it. Saro, he also likes it. Like this. Because you know, money. No? Yeah, and you said, no, so fuck Mar that. Marcos, this is betraying the people. Marcos is money. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, the, the condition there is uh, you name your price. You know, mm -hmm. you name your price, we give you plane, mm -hmm. we, we give you costumes, what costume you like, like this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But you plane. held your ground, you said no. I good, said no. good man. 
I, I go, I will go, I go to some mountains there in the in the south in the in the, in the north uh, Luzon. I build a house. Uh -huh. <laughs> so is that where you were during the revolution? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We are just listening in the radio, you know. Uh -huh. Oh, we were all the uh -huh. Crazy time, huh? <laughs> Crazy. What did you think of all that? Uh, Do you remember? The 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 thing there is that uh, because there is a revolutionary mass movement, no, like the the left at this time. So the left should have taken the initiative to put up this kind of uh, movement, no, because in a way it's a it's a transition supposed to be, uh -huh. but no, no happen. You know. It's still the same people from Marcos time that uh, stand there, get the microphone, talk, and uh, we will oust uh, Marcos like this, blah, 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 blah. So it's the same people there. <laughs> and it's, it's the same. And they, think, they take away Marcos. Like when we were telling the whole story yesterday, pretty much, we didn't talk about the fifth album. What happened there? And that one came out in 1985 or 1986? Exactly. You had the one that the title is kind of like uh, Uncertain Times because uh, it's happening during the revolution. Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, Panahon. Uncertain Times. Uh, because I, I told you already the story that uh, at this time, it was really nobody knows what's going to happen next. No? Mm -hmm. so, and this, this is the time that Marcos was uh, kicked out. And, uh, it was but did that album come out before the revolution? I think it's before. Yeah. yeah. But the time, the, like, you feel already in the air what's going to happen no? like this. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, oh, wow, this is a certain time now. Like mm -hmm. this. Normally, I am the one also giving names to the albums. Uh -huh. and that one has original songs on it. You wrote the songs on that one. Yes. I haven't really listened to that one as much. I think if it's, I only heard it, I only heard it so one time. It's not so circulated, this one. This one right. is a flop. Okay, it's yeah. It's a flop, you know, because uh, then the, the revolution came, no? Mm -hmm. Like this, so it was forgotten. No? Uh huh. Like and then like the band it, broke up again. Uh, like it was covered by all the issues. Uh, right. And then, uh, and then we broke up. Mm -hmm. So it was never, it never recovered like this. And that's one reason why the band broke up at that time, probably because nobody no, listened. No, no, it's not the reason. The reason was that we, we, we just disappeared because we, uh, because of the, of the revolution. No? Mm -hmm. If you've been enjoying the video so far, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing for more content in the future. Thank you very much. So then you guys are split up for a couple years, and then you come back together in 1988. Why did you come back together? At this time, I was, I I, I went up the mountains in the north. I lived there in the mountain mm -hmm. because I already liked the tribes at this time. So I am already with the tribes, and uh -huh. I'm, I'm living in the tribes, and uh, I was also studying music in the tribes, and I was also organizing the children to play so we were going in the we were going in uh, the villages to play uh -huh. <laughs> we were having fun we were having fun like this uh -huh. many ganja there because uh, you know uh -huh. that's where it's coming from uh -huh. <laughs> you know? okay. i live here and this is where the place for uh -huh. me <laughs> so i lived there in sagada for a time uh -huh. mm. Then uh, this is what I, my activities are. Did you have plants on your then property? I was pl playing, I was painting, like this, what? Did you have ganja plants on your property? What property? Wherever you live there, in the mountain? I know. I, I just live there, you know? uh -huh. I live in the people. I rent like this. Okay. Usually we don't rent because people give us, no? Uh -huh. Just leave here, okay? It's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're not doing anything, you're playing music, okay? Just be there. Cool. That's <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah, this is how I, I live usually. And then so, okay. And then I become bored. Then I said, ah, okay, let's make a scene again. Uh -huh. uh, like this. 
because I see that the situation has already like um, it is not normalized but it has already it was already breaking the 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 rotten system is already breaking now so it came to my head that ah, I will build this gun again I will go I will talk to my to my colleagues and then uh, so the first guy I talked with was Pendong okay then uh, because Pendong is just below me mm -hmm. he's in uh, Pangasinan so I was in the no mountain province so I went down to, mountain to him and then I talked to him I said oh, let's let's find a manager and uh, let's regroup and uh, my plan was uh, uh, at this time I know that uh, everything stands still the, art the artists are not uh, moving nobody is moving from the, the left or the right and uh, so I said it's it's good if our, if a scene will because we were still very strong at this time so a scene will be the one to spearhead the whole thing like this so my idea was to make we will make the songs a scene will make the songs and we will gather all the artists that are on our on our you know on our genre and uh, let them perform it uh -huh. like this no? like it's a coalition you know? mm -hmm. that you will put out and then this is strong mm -hmm. I, I see this uh, this is the vision of what I did uh, what I want to do so I got a pendulum I told him this and he said yes it's very good so let's find a manager who will cook and do this then uh, I was thinking of uh, the a guy who was also the producer, music producer in our third album. His name is Ed Formoso, like this. So I said, La, so let's take Ed Formoso because at this time my brother no more. He, he went out of the of the scene. Mm -hmm. So we have to get a new one. So I said Ed Formoso is uh, is the target. So I went to Manila. I talked to Ed Formoso. I told him about the the, the my plans that we are going to make this. I, like we make uh, a coalition of all the who are there, uh, Fred Aguilar, the Jerks, all this, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Banyuhai, all this uh, who are who were active before to put them together and let's play. Uh -huh. like this. Cool. You know, you know. And did that happen? Much, much fun, much fun, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time. Did that work? So, did everybody come together? No, that's why they kicked me out. Really? Oh, because, you know, uh, Ed Formoso, I didn't know that he was this, he's a snake, you know. Ed Formoso was uh, already, uh, after I put out this idea, it came to his idea that he will do it by himself. Like this. That's too bad. That's how, that's how it happened. Now, he cannot do it with me inside, because for, for sure I will protest, no? I will tell the people that, oh, what are you doing? Like this, no? First, he let us do another, uh, um, uh, like, uh, compilation of songs again. Mm -hmm. But this time, wow, it's all shit songs that he's just taking, you know, just to make it, you know. Mm -hmm. Because he's going to sell this to the company. Mm -hmm. Company will get anything that is a sin, you know. Yeah. So, it for most, he bought a panel for this, you know, he bought a <laughs> van because of this money, you know. Us, we never get anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he sold two albums. Right. This uh, Himi Gayomangi and Sinta. Mm -hmm. Now he, in order to get Lolit, he, he, he bribed her to become the producer of one of the albums. Uh -huh. So Lolit, producer. <laughs> 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 but do you sing on those at all? No, I was also able to to arrange some songs for these albums. Uh -huh. I also sing uh -huh. because it's already there, no. But mostly it was pendung now uh -huh. on the scene. Interesting. Yeah, that uh, and for more so, he you have to do like divide and rule, no, because we are a group, so you mm. have to divide and rule, no. So he he get pendung for him with him. No? Uh -huh. So he can rule. So it's Pendong now that become the that become the head there. That's weird. So that's why he has to find a way how to take me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with Pendong he can do it. Mm -hmm. 
because of Kendong. So Kendong has to influence the two. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all like this, no? But then the the I mean the end the end uh, the end uh, the end product of this is that there was an album that came out after that I was kicked out. The name of the album is Local Brown, mm -hmm. like this. Right, but that has other people on it too. That already, it's the produced by Ed Formoso. Okay, you know. And Asim became just a talent there, mm -hmm. instead of the spearheading the whole thing. Right. Uh, you know. Was it's that now successful? Edpor it's Was now that Edpor successful, Edpor Local Brown? Yeah. yeah. All these albums that are not, not successful, all these that uh, Ed Formoso make, mm -hmm. because never come from the heart, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't come from the heart, the music is dead, dead you know, mm -hmm. like this. But yeah. so both albums were probably made at about the same time together or the first one, or both of the 1988 albums, they were made like at the same time? Yeah, yeah. And But then Lolita only produced the second one? Yes. Uh, so the who same produced time, the because first they, it's, it's, it's like a double album, no? Uh-huh, right. The, like this, one after the other, but produced at the same time. Uh -huh. But Lolita only produced... C yeah, you know, producing is not a big deal, you know? You just have to listen to the music. If you have the ear, then it's okay. And then you just say okay, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Ed Formosa he knows this game, you know, <laughs> he knows this very much. So that's the way it is. Then I was already, I was already on the process of being kicked out because, uh, you know, I, Ed Formosa knows that if I'm there, then it's going to, it's not going to happen, his album. Mm -hmm. But the idea is all in me. Mm -hmm. you know. He got uh, artists from outside, jerks, mm -hmm. and uh, but new high like this. Although he did not get all, he get some members in jerks, he get some members in but new high. Not really what I was envisioned that uh, it's really the group that has to play the song. So yeah, so then those guys continued and with local brown. The how did, brown. How did you feel about that? What I were did you not doing? even hear about yeah. it. You know, uh -huh. I did not hear about it. I Is was that out. when you went out? Yeah, I, I, you I went to out. India and out. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was uh, smoking chillum with the uh, sadhus. <laughs> uh -huh. That was more fun. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so and then I'm gonna skip over what happened to Sorrow because I feel it's too sad unless you want to tell me how did you f how did you learn about his death and, ah, wow, yeah. and how, this was, how did you uh, feel about that you know I was already living in Boracay at this time because okay. we are already no more uh -huh. uh, no in in 92 92 okay we were we were disbanded 88 they continue but I think the only up to the early 90s that they they also disbanded, you know, up to there only, their, their group, Pendong, Lolit, and Saro. They mm -hmm. become a scene, but when I talked to Saro, he said, asin, asin, you know, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like as if <laughs> we are a scene, but we are not a scene, uh -huh. you know. So, uh, after this, I was out. Then when I came back, I go to Burakai. I did not hear anything about them anymore. I don't listen to radios. I don't uh, read newspapers <laughs> because it's an island. What, what do I need this, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just here, enjoy coconut, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> painting, making jewelry. Okay, so Baba, no problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you get a phone call about sorrow or something? When no, I. I one morning, I was uh, somebody was calling me from the from the house that I was renting. No, no. Who's this calling? Me? Very early in the morning. There's something like five o'clock. No more sun. Not not yet. The sun is not yet out. No, no. Like this. Who's this? Who are you? Joe. 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 Who? Joe. Joe. Crime. <laughs> 
<laughs> Keren udah sangat pay. It's only in my head, you know. Uh-huh. But crime does not pay. <laughs> Because you, I just woke up and uh, I don't know where I am. So, no, I know I'm like this. So, what, Joe, what, 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 what? Uh, you know, Saro was uh, shot. Oh, Saro. Hey, Saro, your companion in the scene. Oh, yeah. I didn't uh, believe, you know. Oh, who will shut her? <laughs> who will shoot him? Eh? Uh-huh. Why should I believe in this? I said, okay, okay. So in the the, the morning, then I heard more so more uh, news that mm-hmm. really it happened. You know, yeah, wow, well, was really. You know, at first this kind of thing you don't believe. Yeah. You know, no, it cannot happen. Mm-hmm. Like he's just. Uh, Seeing this guy, oh, why will you kill him? Why will you shoot him? Yeah. But after a while, it's really become, you know, real. I cried. Yeah. I cried long time. I cried. Don't you? Yeah. Because if you remember, no, that uh, why, why, why kill somebody like this? I said. We went there to bury him. So, me and Jinji, we went to Pendong, we went there, Pendong, Lolit, we went there. Also, our drummer was there. Um, then, it was, we went also to the guy who, saw, who shot him, because he, he was a lawyer, no? Mm-hmm. The, the wife of Saro came with us, and then we went there, we were looking at him, and then, Nobody knows really what happened, you know, because everything was just stories. <laughs> that uh, what, why, what happened really? Nobody yeah. can say what really happened. But then I learned from the, from one of the stories that uh, this lawyer he 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 won a, a case. So they went there. Then the lawyer was there also mm-hmm. because they celebrate also because they won. Uh-huh. Uh, that's the story, and that's where the that's where it happened. Right. Yeah. And why do you think they were mad at Saro? No, it's Saro. Okay, Saro is another story. He's from another planet, you know. <laughs> yeah, Saro is very. You know, if you don't know Saro, uh-huh. you would get angry with him if you just look at him and then you look what he's doing. Because one time we were together, uh-huh. we were drinking. You know? All the time we are drinking. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so one time we were in one place there in the south that uh, we were drinking together, and we were we were on the bar, so the bar you know like this, we are sitting on a high chair like this. We are drinking. Saro he put his beer here, and then he moved the beer you know like this. Beer is here until it will fall. You know, when it fall, psh, uh-huh. he will look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't offer to clean up or anything. You will laugh, no? Uh-huh. Then he will order, give me beer. <laughs> <laughs> I need another one. <laughs> so the waiter has to come clean, get the glasses like this. Okay, then. I said, wow, what is this? Because the owner, uh, actually the owner of the bar was uh, some, he was a sponsor of the concert. So open bar, you know, get anything you like. You know? <laughs> That's how we are there, you know. Uh-huh. So, open bar. Then me, I feel that it is already too much what Saro is doing because this uh, will just do, put another beer and then he'll do like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's gonna happen again. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so I said, "Wow, Saro, this is already too much." Sir, come, let's let's get our beer and let's drink outside, mm-hmm. just outside the bar, you know, that uh, in the like in the entrance of the bar, we will sit there. We sit there, but we are facing already the road. You know, we're drinking. We are talking, but talking nonsense, you know, because you know nothing is going on really, because we're just passing our time. But Saro, after he will drink beer, after he finish the beer, 
metro itu road really oh wow <laughs> crazy guy dia ni kalau apa dia ha 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 so on this basis you can see that um, your house are always you know but no 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 nothing if you don't mind it it's okay so I can imagine that this lawyer really got pissed off with him also. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he did something there, like this, like, like this uh, scene. Something also. sorrow. <laughs> yeah. Something sorrow like. Something like. very yeah. sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but sorrow is very peaceful guy. Uh-huh. He will never fight. You know? But we will fight. Me and sorrow will fight. Because that's also our uh, tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are fighting. I fight with Pendong. Really fight, you know. Mm-hmm. You know? fight with Saro, Saro fight with Pendum. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, if Lolit is a boy, he's also fighting with us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever throw punches at each other? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. There were times, like me and Pendum, we really... The, the next day, uh, because we have also friends, doctors, you know, that uh, they support us, you know, all the drugs we like, they will get, you know, what do you want? Uh-huh. I want uh, Valium Doc. Uh, give us a volume like oh, this. Whatever you want. Uh-huh. <laughs> Then we go to the pharmacy, buy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's okay, it's legal, no? There is a prescription. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask how we got it, but I got the, the prescription. The doctor will say also, ah, yeah, anyway, these guys are just uh, making so, so what's the problem? Uh-huh. Give them what they want. <laughs> So the next day, after the fight, we have I have with Pendong. Wow, he has many punches here. <laughs> Me, I, I have many here, and Pendong his mouth is already swollen. Uh-huh. <laughs> he cannot sing. You got him good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, and the the one that is uh, la laughable really is the one Pendong and Saro did. In the stage, you know, we were oh, doing really? concert in uh, Manila. We were doing concert after a song. Wow, Pendong! I saw Pendong. He was flying like this. That he landed on Saro, you know. Fuck! <laughs> really? <laughs> wow! So I get my guitar. I, <laughs> <laughs> I look at them. You know. uh-huh. No, 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 no. Concert, Chuck finish. <laughs> uh-huh. People are. <laughs> 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 the middle of the concert, the people are here c- complaining. Wow, we paid for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they fight on stage? I don't know. You know, there are always. He looked there. at him funny, gave yeah. him a dirty look. <laughs> <laughs> there is always something that is, that is cooking before, uh-huh. and then it's uh, flaring up, and then it will go reach that point and no more. Okay, mm-hmm. everything is black. Mm-hmm. That's how it's happening. It's okay because the next day we are also playing again another concert. It's good. We play good, really. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if nothing really happens, but it's already in, in the newspaper. But I seen the fourth year fight yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you guys got back together in 2000, or you were going to get back together in the year 2000, and the internet says that you had a concept for an album to do. In the 2000? In 2000. Yeah. But uh, then it never no, happened. No, it's... Uh, before this 2000 came, I met a guy from England. His name is... I don't know. Um, I forgot his name. I met this guy from England, and he's, he he said, Oh, you're Noi from uh, Sin. I said, yes. So, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the scene. I was here... Uh, on and off in the Philippines because I married a Filipina mm-hmm. so but I'm from England so I wanted to I wanted to put up put put together a scene again to make an album like this but Asaro is already dead right so I said okay that's not a bad idea let's do it like this mm-hmm. so like he get the yes already from me no? mm-hmm. so I said you just talk to Pendong and Loli what whatever is uh, What they were, what whatever the decision is, I go with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he was really very enthusiastic. Okay, call, talk to Lulit. Okay, yes. Talk to Pendong. Yes. So, so let's meet. 
So in a way, so I said, okay, if in a way we're going to meet, let's meet in my island where I was, I am living because it's a, it's a nice place to meet. Mm -hmm. So they went to Burakai and we met. The first day we met was very, very happy, mm -hmm. buy beer, and mm -hmm. likes them. No, you know, you like this, uh, I like this uh, coconut wine, you know, tuba, we call it tuba. Uh, coconut wine, that uh, because we are already in uh, nature, many coconuts. Uh -huh. I said, wow, Kendung, you know, Buraka is already not, not anymore like this, you know. There, there are coconuts, but the more people don't like to climb anymore here because we are already rich here, you know, <laughs> because it's a tourist place, you know, uh -huh. yeah. So, there is wine here. If you like wine, you can drink wine. No, I like tuba really, like this. So I uh, a big problem because me I'm the host, no? <laughs> so, so I go again to, the, to my friends there, the, the, the locals, you know, because, wow, you find me, I find me tuba, where, where can we find tuba? So they have to go to another island to get tuba, you know? uh -huh. <laughs> So okay, okay, the next day there is one big container full of tuba, okay? Gondong, here's your tuba, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they provide it. That's oh, good. Yeah. Then, uh, okay. Drinking, talking, then I ask them, so what's the concept? Mm -hmm. If uh, we are here to, to cook something, so what's the concept? No, no concept. I said, it's like going back to the, to the old scene, no? That I'm always the one thinking for uh, everything, you know, what's going to happen, how it's going to be done. Then, but I'm not getting paid for this. You know? In the end, when we make uh, money, it's divided equally, and you know, where is the effort like this? So now, this time, I, I said to myself, no, I'm not going to say anything about this. So I asked them, what is the concept? If we're going to meet anyway, we make an album. So I said, well, I said well, here comes the, uh, here comes the rewind, you know. Then, I, then I, I feel that, ah, again, it's me, ah, it's going to be me. And then, in the end, it's not going to be me, actually, because when it comes to making decisions, I will lose because you are two and I am one. It's always like this. Mm -hmm. I always lose because they will say yes to each other, and then me, I, I said no, and then they win because they are a majority, you know. Mm -hmm. And what did they want to do that was different from what you wanted to do? They just wanted to cash, they just wanted to quickly make something to get money, or w w what was the thing? Yeah, they just, just make albums. Okay. Yeah. But we're making albums all the time, so what's, uh, what's, what's new about this uh, thing, making albums? Uh -huh. So, again, this is pushing me to decide what to do, and I know. So, okay, I will, uh, I will think about it. So, I was talking to Jinji. The, me and Jinji were good. We were really working hard on this kind of thinking. So we talked and then we decided that, uh, okay, the next day I told them what, what I talked with Jinji. I said, okay, this is the idea that's, that's going to happen now. First, we make an album that is uh, the product of our uh, division. No? Because when we when we split, there was Nene Band, uh, Lolit, mm -hmm. this, there was Groupung Pendong, mm -hmm. and I make also me and me and Jinji, you know, mm -hmm. I, I call it Noi Jinji Interactive. Right. Yes. So, and I made what I did album. They make album. Well, they made album. So okay. Mm -hmm. like so I said, you make four. If you get from your album, it's okay. If you make new, it's okay also. But you make four songs. Depending on you make four songs. I make four songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is one album. Mm -hmm. You know. This is the, the this is the children of a scene. Mm -hmm. ah, like this, though. Mm -hmm. But you are going to be the one to perform. If it's group on Pendong, group on Pendong will perform. Nene, Nene will perform. Me and Jinji, we will perform. Uh -huh. Like this, no? So it's good. Wow, very good idea. Pendong. And the next album we're going, because we're going to do, do two albums. Simultaneous. 
the second album that we're going to make is that uh, we're going to talk, we're going to sit, we're going to make. So lead a scene. Only you, me, and the fandom will sit, make songs, make music, perform. All together. All together. Really so lead a scene, really. Mm -hmm. like Very good idea, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then what happened? Pendong say, wow, this is millions. <laughs> Then it hit me again, wow, this one is I cannot stand this. But uh, you already think about money, no? Uh -huh. Because on the first place, a scene, when we built a scene, There never was a talk about money. Mm -hmm. We will just make music and we will make fun and we will, uh -huh. you know, just play. Right. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to happen like this also, this time. So, this, when, when you say something like this and I hear it, then it affects my, you know, my, it affects the perspective, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel good about yeah. it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I was already doubting, no? But anyway, I said, if anyway we are here, so I, why will I spoil the fun? Let's go on. No? So second day, third day, they came back to the house. Then uh, it's still the same, talking, 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 nothing happening. But uh, this time they are saying, at, oh, you know, I were invited by one friend there that is going to cook, uh, uh, cook chicken in the coconut. Mm -hmm. You know, all this kind of stuff. And we will go there, we will eat, and then we will drink, we will drink, you know. So it's again coming to me that, uh, oh, again, this is a sin, eh? The old sin, happening, all the time, happening, 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 nothing is happening. But the perspective that we are going to do the album, it's not moving. Mm -hmm. But what I want to hear this is that, uh, okay, if we are go anyway going to do this, And we are already in Boracay. What what more nice place are we going to look for to make the album? We are already in Boracay, so we do it here now. Let's start now. Huh? This is what I want to hear, but I don't like to say. So I'm just I'm just okay. So it's the same all the scene again. Fourth day become like this also again that uh, somebody again <laughs> invited you know because people hear that it's a scene is there so invite 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 you know everybody is inviting you to come. In the fourth day, I already get tired that uh, it's not still happening. So I said, no, I'm I'm not going to take part in this album. Anyway, you have the concept, you bring it. I also give you the permission to use the name, a sin, okay, English. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take part in this. I said no. Uh, I did not go with them. Oh, they are go home like this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because they were already expecting. The pending was already saying, what will we say to the people in Manila? <laughs> uh -huh. Because as if they already spread the news that a sin is going back now. Uh -huh. uh, I'm out of it. But they went on and they made an album. And yeah, because this guy, is he's the one to pay. Mm -hmm. He was the one to pay. So I told him also, he was there also, that uh, I, I'm not going to take part in this anymore because I know it's going to be me again and then it's just the same story. I am I am the minority here and uh, it's still them that is going to be followed. But I make all the concepts, I make all the ideas. You know. No, I don't like. You heard the album when they made it. Yeah. What did you think of it? No, the first thing that I look, because also one of the things that I said is that uh, uh, this time, if anyway it's a scene who is doing it, so we will be the one to market it. We will be the one to do all. You know, Lolit said no. You know. We give it to the company, they will be the one to distribute it. We will just. No, I said no. So, because I wanted to be the one, we are the one to work on it, you know. If we are going to make money, we are in all. No, why should we give it to you, you know? Uh -huh. is, because I'm already on business, no? I'm in Burakai, I have four, I have four shops, you know. Uh -huh. So I know already what business is. Uh -huh. you know? 
I know that, uh, I said what? People in the mountains, they know Vicor, they don't know Vicor, hmm. but they know Asin. Aha. Uh, you know? Aha. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, we can sell, mm-hmm. you know. Vicor will not sell. You, you go there and they will say, Vicor, what? Who, who is Vicor? Mm-hmm. With No Edge G Interactive, you did everything yourself for yeah, that one. Yeah. 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 No company. No company. Yeah. Cool. Also selling, we sell, but uh, not not really selling because you, you know. But you know, it's a good feeling that you do it. You know, uh, that's what you are there for. No. To, uh, so how do you feel knowing that thousands, if not millions, of people have been inspired by you in some way? Is I mean, you do you feel like you've inspired a lot of people, either just musicians or maybe people to do better? Do you, do you, do you feel accomplishment from that? Yeah, of course. Of course. Did you I know that there is that? an influence, no? Uh-huh. That yeah, one way or the other, it influences the people like this. You gain a lot of respect. Right. This is the most. No? Mm-hmm. That when you go, people just don't, don't, don't see you as a musician, you know. They have a lot of respect because they know that you are saying something that really affects the life of the, everybody. Right. So this is the most. Uh-huh. What more can you ask for? You know? right.